welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer. In today's episode, we are going to review the Seagate Barracuda 4 terabyte hard drive, and then we're going to compare it to the 4 terabyte Western Digital Blue. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. I already own the 4 terabyte Western Digital hard drive already installed on my computer. I'm running out of space making YouTube videos, so I decided to add an additional hard drive. So in this case, I wanted to add the Seagate Barracuda 4 terabyte. The Western Digital Blue Drive has the following specs. It's a 4TB, 5400 RPM, the cache is 64 megabytes per second, and the sustained read speed is 150 megabytes per second. For the Seagate Barracuda, the following specs. It's a 4TB as well, 5400 RPM, the cache is 256 megabytes, and the sustained read write speed is 190 megabytes per second. So I was curious to see what that difference actually means in practical use. So we're going to get to that to test uh, by moving 12.1 gigabytes of files over to the drives. Here's a quick closer look at the Seagate drive as comparing it to the Western Digital. It's lighter and thinner. Again, here's the Western Digital drive. So now I'm going to do a side by side comparison. The Western Digital Blue dimensions 147. 101.6 times 26.1 millimeter thick and 680 grams versus the Barracuda which has dimensions of 147 by 102 but the thickness level is 20.2 as you can see in the picture it's quite different and the weight is 490 grams and when you have it in your hands you can notice the heft of the Western Digital Blue Now I'm just going to install both hard drives. I have a Carbide 275R Corsair case, which has two bays for traditional hard drives. It's nice because it's toolless. It's just snapping into the frame and popping it in. And then I just connect the power cable and the SATA cable. The next step is to initialize the drive so I can start using it. So in your Windows menu, go to Disk Manage, and click OK. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of where there's an unallocated drive. I'll scroll down and you can see this is unallocated. I'm going to right click, select New Simple Volume, click Next, I'm assigned the drive letter. Click next. And then I'm going to label the drive. So in this case, I'm just going to label it Barracuda. And then I'm going to click next. Next again. And you can see it's finished. 
It's showing how me how much space is left on the drive. Now it's ready to use. And I can verify that by going to my directories, selecting it. I select it was given to my F drive. Label Barracuda. If I go to properties, you can see the amount of drive space I have left. And that's it. Now it's ready to use. Now I'm going to do a crystal mark read write test on both drives. So the Western Digital Blue has a buffer 64 megabytes per second and a sustained read and write speed 150 megabytes per second. The Barracuda has a buffer 256 megabytes and a sustained read write speed of 190 megabytes per second. As you can see from the results, they're pretty bang on with the specimens. So the Western Digital The following test is transferring a 12.1 gigabyte ProRes video that I recently shot. So now I'm going to copy it to each drive and see how long it's going to take to actually copy it over. I'm curious to see if the 256 megabyte buffer of the Seagate versus the 64 megabyte buffer of the Western Digital will make that much of a difference. So let's take a look at the results. As you're watching this, you can see the sustained rewrite speed of the Western Digital is hovering around 150 megabytes per second. And for the Barracuda, it is hovering around 190 megabytes per second. So at 53 seconds, the Barracuda has finished the 12.1 gigabyte copying of the file. And then at a minute 10 did it finish for the Western Digital. So the difference is really only 17 seconds for copying a 12.1 gigabyte file. All right, so that concludes my overview of the Western Digital hard drive versus the Seagate Barracuda hard drive. If I had to choose, I would just choose whatever's on sale, which is the cheapest. In terms of specs, they're very similar. Um, the difference between the performance of the two is very nominal. So I would just choose whatever's on sale. And right now, um, in Memory Express, the Seagate is $120 Canadian versus $115 Canadian for the Western Digital. So if I had to choose, I would purchase the Western Digital Blue hard drive. Again, I would just choose which one is on sale. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And until next time.